Welcome back to Whiskey Wonder Woman. It's still St. Patty's Day, so I'm deciding to do another Irish whiskey review because the last one was a total, um, yeah, you know if you watch the video. Um, so Virginia ABC is having 20% off on some selected Irish whiskey, so I decided to stop in to see what I could find. I was going to go for the Red Breast 12, but because I know it's technically popular, I wanted to try something that I don't know of um, and kind of give like an unbiased view. <laughs> Funny enough, there was a girl there maybe a few minutes before me. They put, um, so this is the bottle I got. I got the Green Spot, single pot still Irish whiskey, but they had a Gold Spot, which is very pretty. It's like $300 and it's only limited like one per day kind of thing. Um, so she thought, well, they put it on the table with the other 20% selected items, so she definitely wanted to buy it, um, but they denied her even though it was their mistake. Um, I feel like they should have honored it, but technically because it was an allocated item of Virginia, they couldn't. So she kind of left upset. Oh well. So um, I got the green spot, which originally, I don't know where the receipt is, but I paid maybe 46, 47 bucks with it, with the 20% off. And I thought that was a good deal. Um, I don't know how old it is, but when I quickly Googled it, it said it might be seven to 10 years old, um, which is younger than the Red Breast 12, but I was like, why not? So this is what we're gonna do. We're doing the Green Spot Single Pot Still Irish Whiskey. Triple distilled, oh my God. What is up with the small writing? Or, or, or I'm blind. I'm a green spot. Green spot. It reminds me of something. Oh, uh, Big Bang Theory. Sheldon in a spot. And when, like, Penny accidentally put the pink ball on his spot and it was the green spot. Oh my god, I can't open this thing. Oh. This is the bottle. It's actually really pretty. Green spot. Once almost extinct, this legendary whiskey is a rare taste of pot still Irish whiskey in its best. Matured in American bourbon and sherry casks, like Tullamore, this is a whiskey of immense flavor and complexity. A splendid choice. They even give the tasting notes. I don't know if I should cheat. I technically I'm blind, so I have to like zoom my eyes in to read it, but I'm not going to read it. I'm not going to read it. From a tradition dating to 1805 comes the inspiration for Green Spot Single Pot Still Irish Whiskey. Triple Still matured and bottled for Mitchell and Son Fine Spirits, Fine Wine and Spirits in Dublin. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just a little confused because... Um, It says that, but um, usually when a bottle is picked, it's, it literally says specifically for Virginia ABC, um, Mitchell and Son. I don't have my phone on me, so I can't Google it. Google it at this moment. But um, is this like a a secondary bottle that didn't sell at Mitchell and Son's Fine Wines and Spirits, and then came over to Virginia? This is questionable to me because we know Virginia has done that um, I think a few drops ago there was a bottle and bond 1792 that came from I don't know another state and then they just put a VA sticker over it and a lot of people caught that so I'm, I'm just I don't know uh, let me read the history on the back a little but I won't read the tasting notes in 1805 the Mitchell merchant family commenced okay so I guess it's the Mitchell family um, the merchant family commenced trading on 10 Grafton Street in the heart of Dublin City as, why do they use some weird words, purveyors of confectionery wines and forfeited wines. Okay, all right, so this is a green spot bottle. It's not really secondary. Okay, I answered my own question. In 1887, the entrepreneurial family expanded into the whiskey bonding business whereby they sent empty wine, sherry, and port casks via horse and cart to local 
Jamison Distillery on Bow Street. These were then filled and returned to the Mitchell Cellar Warehouse on Fitzwilliam Lane. There, beneath Cobble Streets, the whiskey matured for many years before being bottled and sold. Okay, so it's kind of coming from their distillery. To this day, Mitchell sells a range of whiskeys under their spot brand name. This rather peculiar name originated from their practice of marketing casts of different ages with a daub or spot of colored paint. Blue, red, yellow spot are among the lesser spotted members of the world renowned whiskey range, but green spot emerged as their most well known. Okay, cool. I don't even think I've seen the other colored spots in the store. This traditional Bonder brand continues to reintroduce the world of wonders of Irish whiskey. Enjoy and savor as this is a true gem. I will say that Irish whiskey has really, really good marketing. Look, the bottle even has the green spot on it. Okay, as I'm opening this bottle, I want to thank all the people that have subscribed to my channel. Um, it's very exciting to see my channel grow and to see that I have supporters. Um, being like a small known person on YouTube and probably the many of the lesser known <laughs> YouTube whiskey channels. So I don't even know how my videos are getting out there and people are seeing them, but I'm just grateful that you guys are watching it and enjoying this journey with me, really. it's It makes this hobby even more fun. I don't know if I should keep this. Uh, oh, actually, no, I don't have to because the cork has the green spot. Isn't that cool? Um, so I don't think the bottle says how old it is. But remember, I Googled it and it said like seven to 10 years. So that's what we're going on. I don't know what the tasting notes are. Okay. Also, Irish Whiskey has a really good seal on their bottles. That was a really heavy pour. Okay. Really light in color. Um, lighter than honey. This almost looks like white wine right now. Wait, what's the proof? Oh, that was very floral. It is 80 proof. It smells like flowers right now. Almost like an apple orchard. Very, very fragrant and perfumey, but it's, it's mellow at the same time. It's like maybe uh, flowers, Honey, vanilla, all mixed together. This one smells really good. I wasn't expecting that. I'm going to see what the nose says. Nose, fresh aromatic oils and spices with orchard fruits. Ah, I was totally right on that. And barley, I mean, obviously barley, on a background of toasted wood. Hmm, let me see if I get toasted wood. No. I wouldn't say I really get wood here. I will say that I'm getting hints of that bourbon scent. If that's what they want to say is toasted or charred oak, but it's very faint. All right, let's go in for the taste. Cheers and happy St. Patty's Day. It's very perfumey, if that's a word. Um, it, I still get the floral notes. It's very fruity, almost like a citrus fruit. The finish is spicy. What is up with Irish whiskey being spicy? Please let me know, because I'm not a fan. Because <laughs> I enjoyed the nice fragrant flowers and vanilla and then boom, spicy. I wasn't even ready for it. It just came out the blue. Okay, this time it wasn't as spicy. It kind of just was flat of the spiciness and more of sweetness. And I think that was more of the sherry cast coming through.
480 proof. It's pretty smooth. Um, I wouldn't say the spiciness is alcohol. I would basically say it's coming from that, the actual Irish whiskey. Got the barley now. Okay, a little bit ooh, spiced oak maybe. It's hitting the back of my throat and it's lingering. I've noticed when I had the Telemore Dew, now the Irish whiskey, um, I'm feeling hot from drinking this. Very fragrant. I actually really enjoy this one. If this is their most popular bottle, maybe I won't like the others. Just saying. If the gold spot went on sale, I would be willing to buy it. That's hot. Oh my gosh. And when I say hot, it is almost nothing like a rye. Like nothing. Does not compare to a rye at all. It's like its own special spiciness going on. Um, so let me finally read the tasting notes. Well, first let me read, let me read the single pot still Irish whiskey. Single pot still Irish whiskey is unique to Ireland. It is regarded as the quintessential style of Irish whiskey, safeguarded and nurtured under the watchful eye of Middleton Distillery for almost 200 years. Single pot still Irish whiskey is made from a mash of malted and almond, blah, looper. Single pot still, <laughs> it's like a tongue twister. Single pot still Irish whiskey is made from a mash of malted and unmalted barley and then triple distilled in traditional copper pot stills. Pot still Irish whiskeys are characterized by full complex flavors and a wonderful creamy mouthfeel. I will definitely say the creaminess is probably their star of Irish whiskey. They definitely hit that mark. Okay, so finally, tasting notes. Gosh, where are they? Okay, nose. Fresh aromatic oils and spices with orchard fruits and barley on the background of toasted wood. Taste, full spicy body. Yeah, it was spicy. A hint of cloves. You know what, yeah. I could definitely say cloves. If I had to choose a spice, I would not choose cinnamon. I would definitely choose cloves. Along with the fruity sweetness of green apples. I definitely did say it was apples. Uh, green apples rounded off with toasted oak. I think I really hit the mark with the tasting notes. Finished lingering flavors of spices of barley. Wow. I think I, I got all the notes that were on this bottle, which is kind of cool. I got the spiciness, I got some apples. Um, they say green apples, um, let me see. In the taste, I could definitely get green apples because it's not as sweet, but there's still that, that orchard apple flavor, and, but it's not too tart. It's almost like a ripe green apple. Spice, definitely, definitely spicy. Um, I don't know if like, Irish whiskey uh, is known for like their spiciness and that's what they go for. But the two Irish whiskeys I've had so far have been pretty spicy. I actually like this a lot better than the Tullamore Dew 12 year. And I think this is like seven to 10 years, like I said, um, but I can't confirm. But this is actually way better. So if you've tried this, let me know what you think. And if you try the gold spot one, can you tell me if it's worth buying it? I'm just curious because the store only has one of them. Um, but there's actually a lot of whiskeys from around the world that sit on the shelves of Virginia ABC because the focus of Virginia is, is mostly bourbon. Um, and I want to explore outside of bourbon, even though I enjoy bourbon. I want to explore every region of whiskey. So if you have recommendations for me, please drop it in the comments um, because when I go to these sections, I kind of don't know what I'm looking for and they range from all different types of prices. Like there would be some that are 10 years old for only $25 and I'm like, this is questionable. Um, but I don't want to like, you know, I'm buying all this whiskey. So I just want to be mindful of, of what I'm spending. Um, so I would like recommendations. I don't mind doing like, you know, popping the bottle and trying it, figuring out what I like but I kind of want to know what my viewers are drinking. And if I haven't tried it, I want to go and get it if it's on sale. <laughs>
So that is my review on the Green Spot Irish Whiskey. See you in the next video. Bye.